terrifying moments caught on camera, leading to an all-out manhunt tonight. You need to do something now because I don't know what's going on. This shocking video showing a violent confrontation near Orlando, Florida, and possibly a young woman's final moments. Someone wearing a black hoodie and a mask, armed with an automatic handgun, filmed pointing it at a driver inside a white Durango at this intersection. The suspect then jumping into the back seat. Poor guy's been held up by some guy with a machine gun. Police believe the person driving that white Durango was 31-year-old Catherine Aguas Vivas, a recent U.S. citizen from the Dominican Republic. A short time after that first call, police get another about a car badly burned with a body inside 30 miles away, shell casings found on the ground outside. We believe that to be the vehicle and the decedent to be Catherine. Police now believe this was a targeted attack. Shortly before this video was taken, Catherine called her husband to report a green Acura was ramming into her back bumper. Why does she and her husband not call 911? I don't know. Uh, why does she stop at the red light? I don't I mean, There's a lot of things that we'll absolutely uh, never know. Tonight, the suspects are on the run, with police calling witnesses who have come forward so far heroes. The people who are, who are following behind this, witnessing this, are absolute heroes with providing critical information of a very dangerous and frightening situation. Marisa, what's the latest on the investigation tonight? Well, Jose, the charred remains of this car found just down the dirt road behind me. The question tonight is, why was she driving more than 200 miles away from her home, and what was the motive to target her? Police still searching for those answers and those suspects. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.